Hello everyone. My name is Vasudha Jain and I am a faculty member in the Department of Economic Sciences at IIT Kanpur. In this short video, I will be telling you about the new MSc in Economics program that our department is introducing from the next academic year that is 2023 to 24. So first let me tell you a little bit about Economic Sciences at IIT Kanpur. The Department of Economic Sciences has been in existence in IIT Kanpur since 2017. Before that, economics was a part of the Department of Humanities and Social Sciences at IIT Kanpur. Until date, IIT Kanpur is the only IIT to have an independent economics department. At all the other IITs, economics is still a part of the Department of Humanities and Social Sciences. So our department has grown significantly over the past few years and nine new faculty members have joined within the past five years which has brought the total faculty uh, number to 20 at present. And at present, we are offering three academic programs, uh, a Bachelor of Science in Economics, that is BS in Economics, a Joint Bachelor of Science and Master of Science in Economics, BS MS Economics, and a PhD in Economics. And what I'm going to tell you about today is the new two-year Master of Science MSc in Economics program that will be offered from the next academic year, that is 2023 to 24. So, as I said, the new MSc in Economics program is going to be a two-year program and this is going to be distinct from the current BS MS program. So, the current uh, MS program is only open to students who have done their BS, uh, which is the Bachelor of Science program in the Department of Economic Sciences at IIT Kanpur. So, the way it works is that students are admitted into the BS in Economics program through the joint entrance exam, that is the JEE and they have an option to continue into the MS program and that's that's a one year program. But admission to uh, the new MSc in economics program would be open to all undergraduate students, not only those from IIT Kanpur. So the objectives of this new MSc in economics program are firstly to equip students with core competencies as professional economists to leverage the unique combination of expertise at the frontiers of economics and technology at IIT Kanpur to impart cutting-edge skills in emerging interdisciplinary areas and also to provide hands-on training in data analysis and quantitative economic modeling. So here is an overview of the uh, program structure. Uh, students in this new MSc in Economics program will be taking a total of 20 courses which add up to approximately 180 credits. Uh, these will comprise 10 core courses, 9 elective courses and 1 compulsory course on communication. The elective courses would include both departmental electives, which are electives offered within the Department of Economic Sciences and open electives, which would be uh, courses in other departments in IIT Kanpur. And in the second year, which is the final year, students who have a CPI above a certain threshold would also have the option of writing a thesis instead of taking two of the elective courses. So let me tell you a little bit about this course structure in detail. So in the first semester, students will be taking one microeconomics course, one macroeconomics course, one course on mathematical methods for economics and one course on applied probability and statistics. Additionally, they will be taking a compulsory communication course, which will basically uh, help them uh, or train them in both uh, verbal and written communication skills. In the second semester, students will be taking a second microeconomics course, a second macroeconomics course, a first course in econometrics, a course on computational methods in economics, and a course on game theory. Then in the third semester, they will be taking the second compulsory econometrics course and four electives, and they will have an option to begin writing their thesis in place of one elective course. In the final semester, they will be taking five elective courses, and once again, if they are doing a thesis, then uh, they will be taking four elective courses. At least six of these uh, overall bunch of uh, elective courses has to be from the uh, economics department itself. Those are the departmental elective courses. So uh, we often get a lot of questions about this course on computational methods in economics. So let me just take a minute to explain uh, uh, what we have in mind when we uh, design this course. Basically, the course will uh, comprise two modules. In the first module, we'll uh, uh, teach basics of programming, numerical analysis, optimization, and economic applications. Uh, 
In the second module, we'll uh, discuss uh, statistical inference, multivariate statistics, including various techniques like ridge regression and so on, deep learning and time series analysis. So as you see, the focus is on developing uh, cutting edge computational skills, which would equip students for uh, jobs in industry. Now, as you know, uh, students have to take a lot of elective courses as part of this program. So they have a wide variety of elective courses to choose from. Some of the elective courses that have been offered in recent years include machine learning for economists, advanced game theory, market design, contract theory, advanced econometrics courses, for example, panel data methods, causal inference, time series econometrics, Bayesian econometrics. And then there are courses in financial economics, trade, growth, dynamic macroeconomics. There are courses in development economics, labor and public economics. And of course, students have uh, the option of taking open elective courses, which are elective courses in other departments at IIT Kanpur, including, for example, computer science, uh, mathematics and statistics, industrial and management engineering, humanities and social sciences, and so on. So now to talk about who is el eligible to apply and what is the admission process. We welcome students from both economics and non-economics backgrounds. Uh, the basic eligibility criterion is first division at the undergraduate level. Students who are in their final year of undergraduate study are also eligible to apply, but their final admission is subject to them meeting the first division criterion. Every applicant must have taken the JAM or the uh, GATE exam within the past one year. So the JAM exam is the uh, joint admission test for MSc programs and the GATE exam is the graduate aptitude test in engineering. These can be taken in any discipline. Uh, for the JAM and GATE to be taken in 2023, the application deadline is October 7 for GATE and October 11 for JAM and the exams will be held in February of 2023. So our admission process has two stages. In the first stage, we shortlist applicants based on their GATE or JAM scores. At stage two, we invite the shortlisted candidates to appear for a written test at IIT Kanpur. And this would happen in late May or early June. This test is the same for all candidates, whether they are from an economics background or not. And the final selection of candidates would be based only on their performance in this test. The test will be of the multiple choice uh, format and it will have three sections. The first section will be on mathematics and statistics. The weightage of this section would be 50%. The second component would be English language skills and logical reasoning, which would be 30%. And finally, 20% for introductory economics, which, which would be at the level of CBSE class 12. And the syllabus recommended readings and a sample question paper shall be made public soon on, on our website and whenever we uh, advertise uh, uh, this new MSc program. And in the first year, our targeted batch size is approximately 40. So if you are considering applying to IIT Kanpur, uh, for this new MSc in economics program, one thing you must be wondering about is what sort of career prospects you would have after graduating from here. So economics has been at IIT Kanpur for a really long time and our graduates have gone on to do really well in the corporate sector, the government sector as well as in higher education. So the placement record of students uh, as far as corporate uh, placements go uh, has been really good over the past few years and recruiters have included companies like BCG, American Express, Accenture, JP Morgan, Goldman Sachs, Walmart and so on. Many students have also chosen to uh, uh, enter the government sector and have uh, entered the IAS, the Indian Economic Service and the Reserve Bank of India and others. And uh, several students have also gone on to do a, a, a PhD in economics at universities, uh, including the University of Michigan, the University of Toronto, University of Wisconsin-Madison, the University of Illinois at Urbana-Champaign, Iowa State University, and so on. And as a student in the MSc in economics program, you will have access to the same placement cell and the associated network and resources 
as the students in the current BS MS program. Now, if you ask me why you should come to IIT Kanpur if you want to do a master's in economics, I would say that uh, this would be a great option for you, uh, regardless of whether you come from an economics background or from a non-economics background. Here, you would have an opportunity to interact with other departments, including computer science, management, mathematics and statistics, humanities and social sciences, and all of the engineering departments. You will have an opportunity to take courses in other departments, which would offer you a competitive edge when applying for jobs or advanced research positions. And like I said, our faculty group is uh, relatively young and our curriculum is very dynamic and modern. And we have a very good student to faculty ratio. We also have many uh, software advanced computing facilities and data sets to offer. And here you would have access to the network and resources provided by the placement cell as well as mentorship for PhD aspirants. Now, Kanpur will be only the third IIT after IIT Roorkee and IIT Delhi to offer a standalone Masters in Economics program. And like I said, IIT Kanpur is the only IIT to have an independent Department of Economics. Finally, I think the fact that we have such a beautiful campus uh, and uh, all the associated facilities uh, is a huge plus point. Uh, everybody who graduates from here goes with uh, very fond memories of their life here. So campus life is very vibrant and has many opportunities for personal and professional growth. So that's also something I think you should keep in mind. So finally, here are some helpful links. Uh, uh, we uh, regularly update our department website with latest information on this new MSc in economics program. You can also follow us on Twitter. And information about the GATE and JAM exams for 2023 can be found on their respective websites. Thank you.